what we're going to be doing today is a beach scene with a palm tree and signs on the palm tree and you can do as many signs as you want depending on where you where you live if you want some that say to this island or that beach or if you don't want it to have anything to do with the beach if you want family names on there or uh, states that you've been whatever you can do anything you want on the signs so I'm probably gonna have seven six or seven signs on that will be more than this and the colors we're going to use I'm going to be using sky blue phthalo blue brilliant green white olive green yellow raw sienna yellow ochre and red uh, that should give us plenty of colors so we're going to start in the background first in the sky and i want to use phthalo blue with some sky blue and also a little bit of white we've got some clouds so i'll come back in and put some heavy clouds in for my water i'm going to be using a little bit of phthalo sky blue and brilliant green plus a little white to get some of the turquoise tones that you see so we have some shade differences in there now i'm going to get it lighter the sky on the right side behind where the palm tree is going to be and you don't want to have to deal with all those palm fronds so you don't want to draw that in first you want to paint right up to that tree so you don't have to worry about um, blending later now if this is a paint kit you're doing this on a canvas so it's going to be more of a rectangle uh, I'm doing this on a bar stool for a client that we've got in town. Uh, next, uh, when we are painting the sand, that's going to be some raw sienna, yellow ochre, and a little bit of white, and then we'll paint the surf line back on top of that. And then, of course, we'll.
on the horizon, I used a little bit of phthalo blue with some red just to get a darker purple. But I don't want to use too much because in our printout, we've got, it's kind of like a mountain yeah. scene in the background on the horizon, plus some clouds behind that um, in, our, in the distance. So for this line here, a little bit of phthalo blue and a little bit of red, or you can just do dark phthalo. You don't have to get it that dark. When I come in to do the mountains, we will be doing that with um, a little bit of red and blue together to get the darkest purple possible. If you need to darken that, we can address that and darken that with some black or some um, burnt umber. Now what I want to do, I've come down with the water. You can see my palm tree is kind of hidden because you want to get a good blend in that background. So I went over the lines, not a big deal. We can paint that back in super easy. I want to go ahead and do the sand now at the bottom. And when that dries, I'll come back and do the, the white of the surf over top.
Okay, now we're gonna get in the palm tree. I will use uh, a little bit of raw sienna, yellow ochre, uh, some black if needed, or some white to lighten it up on the right side, and also some burnt sienna. Now we're going to put where we're going to have the fronds for the palm in. And the way I want to do that is just draw the spine first. And you want to go in three layers on the palm fronds uh, with your brush straight up and down. I'm using a flat half inch. You want to draw the fronds first. And I'm going to use a little bit of olive green with black. Just want to come down with where those fronds are going to hang. Here's two, three, four. Now, if you need more than that, you can do five. These are gonna get really full. So now I wanna do a medium green after I do my fronds. Let's start with the dark first though. And you wanna come down with the lines, just pulling those down at an angle. If you're working on a canvas, you want, might want to turn your canvas. It's important that these fronds are different widths and lengths, and it's important that we get the color. The shadow of the fronds should be first, so that's dark green, then mid medium green. You can use that brilliant green, and then you want yellow on top for the highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and get those in there and then we'll start on the sides.
Okay, five signs. So I want these to be different sizes. They need to look like they're a little weathered. They're out on the beach, the salt, the sand, the wind. It's tearing them up. So you don't want them perfect. When you're painting these, you want them to look a little weathered too. Try not to hang them perfectly straight. You want them to be a little bit crooked. Uh, and like I said, different sizes. Now, if it's a super dark sign, you might not need to put white first. But I'm gonna start with white. I want one to go across in the front and maybe have a direction going to the right. Now you can take these off if you want to keep them white and you can do this before you paint anything and then pull the tape off and then you've got these perfect little blocks yeah but you need to learn <laughs> you need to learn the hard way and then um, I think we all have. <laughs> learn the hard way and that way when you learn the easy way life gets easier and easier and you're happy but as long as you learn learn it this way you can always do it if you remember to do it or not or if it's an afterthought to add something like this later Now you don't have to be accurate with what, where your signs are pointing or unless that's really important to you. If you wanna be accurate with mileage and if you're at the beach or the lake or a different country or whatever. This one I'm gonna have her be uh, pointing to the left. Gonna be a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to continue and do my other signs. All right, I have the white down for my signs. Now I'm gonna come back and put the color on top. Uh, if it's dry, you wanna make sure that it's dry before you paint it. And then you can come in with pens or a paintbrush and put whatever you want on those signs. In this original, it's Pier Cabanas, Cocktails, Surf Lessons. You can put anything on mine. I'm gonna be putting things like Kiowa Island, Tybee Island, Hilton Head. Um, but you could put anything there. I mean, you could do this for the lake, for the river, for the ocean, for whatever, for the pool, bathrooms, changing room, you know, whatever you want to do. So I'm alternate, alternate my colors, just make sure they're bright and happy.